We're standing on the bluff overlooking the Liberty Bridge in Pittsburgh, a critical piece of infrastructure in Pittsburgh. 85-year-old structure carries 16,000 vehicles a day between downtown and the South Hills. About 1,400 of those are, are truck vehicles or commercial vehicles, and so a very critical link um, in our local infrastructure. The bridge is in reasonably good shape, and yet it is still considered structurally deficient. Structurally deficient does not imply the bridge is going to fall into the Monongahela River anytime soon. It means it's deteriorating. It means that its margin of safety for carrying the loads that it does is falling. In order to address the issue of structural deficient bridges, now let, let's take a look at the state of Pennsylvania. The Liberty Bridge behind me is one of about 6,000 structurally deficient bridges in this state. About 27% of the bridges in the state of Pennsylvania are presently rated structurally deficient. Left unchecked, that deterioration is going to continue, and it's going to tend to continue exponentially in time. Corrosion begets corrosion, and so the system is not quite linear. We need to maintain these. We do not have the resources necessarily to do so, as these resources were competing with all sorts of other pressures, um, including building new infrastructure. We can't just pick up a bridge and move it to where the people are. We have to build a new bridge. And so we're constantly adding more assets to our inventory and we have to maintain all of those assets. We need resources to maintain a bridge or roadway or, or any um, element of the infrastructure. And those resources were competing with the new infrastructure. The reality is bridge maintenance, roadway maintenance isn't sexy. You're not going to get your name on a bridge repair. You're going to get your name on a new bridge. We hear a lot about roads and bridges, but if we look at all of our built infrastructure, our buried infrastructure, sewers, water, gas, our navigation infrastructure, dams, locks, levees. Bridges and roadways are arguably in some of the best shape of all of our built infrastructure. So the issue that we have with infrastructure in this country is significantly greater than roads and bridges, probably one, two orders of magnitude even greater than the problems that we're dealing with with bridges today.